I'd just like to share this short game called Numerate uh, with you. I'm just playing on the back of a spinner darts board. What a lot of people don't realize is that it's a whiteboard, so all you need is a whiteboard here. Now essentially what you do is you set a target number, and I've set the number 67 for this. And because we've got three players, we just put three sets of dashes on the board. And uh, I've already rolled the dice, so you roll three dice, but you only need to choose two to create a number that's as close to 67 as possible. So for example, in this case here, someone might decide, well, I'm going to make 57, uh, and that's 10 away from 67. But in fact, the better choice would be to make the number 75 because that's only eight away. So if that was my shot, I would put 75 in here and I'm eight points away. Imagine then that we roll again and we've got a different roll of the dice here and I've got a four, an eight, and a seven. Well, clearly there, I'm gonna make 74 and so on. So the next player does the same and whoever is closest is the winner. The beauty of uh, this game is that you can easily change it so we've looked at the first version of Numerate with just two digit numbers, but now we could go with three digit numbers. In this case, you have to use all three dice in order to create a number that is as close to 752 as you can. So in this case, we're emphasizing the place value idea because where the digit sits makes a difference. So we're going to try 763. And so the next player would roll with their numbers and the third player and so on. The real interesting part of this starts when we get to things like we start to introduce decimal fractions and then we have a slightly different version of this game. So you can see there's a lot of opportunity to differentiate playing this game.